Hi, I'm Yolanda Mazzoni. We're at my home studio. I'm the featured artist at the upcoming show at Imago Gallery. It's called Cuba, The Untold Stories. I spend my days as an interior architect on the weekends. I follow my passion, which is painting. My focus over the years has really been portrait painting in oil. Um, this is an image of Sarah, which is a really traditional portrait. A little while ago, I started transitioning from traditional portraits and really looking at materials and understanding substrates and how they work together. So I, basically, I started letting myself play. So here's an example of how I transitioned into a new type of work. By using different materials, by using, in this case, using vellum uh, and mylar with sumi ink and salt and acrylic, uh, it allowed me to really explore just the materials themselves without trying to depict a certain element or a certain image. Um, and that's what I refer to as play. Um, you really just start getting into the material. So here you can see that's a combination of those ink and mylar, um, where here I started just focusing on the ink. And um, I used Yupo paper as well, um, and that I overlaid onto the mylar uh, with the ink behind it. As I mentioned previously, my work evolving from traditional portraiture into more abstract work, um, this show has allowed me to really explore yet another layer, which is storytelling. Uh, this show isn't pretty. It's really, it's really defining and describing some things that happened that um, basically people have kept to themselves for almost 40 years. Just as some background, um, I grew up with, um, my parents were Cuban, um, and over the years they had left Cuba in the early 60s. Uh, and over the years we really um, heard everything that was wonderful about Cuba the beaches, the food, the music, the nightlife. And uh, we never really heard what really happened that really made them leave with a couple you know, infants um, and leave the country um, and leave everything there. So I had an opportunity to go to Cuba this past year. And uh, I wanted to tell family members who had grown up there. I told them, uh, when I did tell them, what happened was I, I received a deadpan stare. Um, and I didn't know really how to interpret that. As soon as they heard, they went on to a different topic. So I really wanted to understand what was behind this blank stare. So I started asking questions. Um, and that's where this show started coming up. I wanted to tell a story. And uh, by doing that, it would be able to give them voice to what they've been hiding for so many years. This piece is called Exodus. Uh, this was a story that my cousin had told me, um, that when he was 12, um, they the government had showed up to his house and told him that he was going to be exported to Russia for training. Instead, he became part of a uh, movement, it's called Operation Pedro Pan, Pan, that it was actually the largest exodus of minors um, in the Western Hemisphere. Um, over 14,000 children were shipped off out of Cuba into Miami and around the states. They were put in camps, um, and this is a description of him as he enters into into one of the facilities. This, like the other pieces in the show, um, are painted with oil paint on aluminum or steel uh, back, background. Um, one of the things that the steel and the aluminum allow us to do is not only use the reflection um, as part of the painting, um, but also to be able to incise lines into the aluminum uh, versus painting them. So depending on your viewing angle, you get a little different glimpse of elements that are in the image. This piece hasn't been titled yet. Uh, I'm still working on it a little bit. But um, what it does is it, it tells a story of how, um, when, how families were torn apart. Um, not only leaving the island, but also um, when they stayed. Um, this, is, this story goes back to where um, a father was um, trying to go against the government and uproot the government. Um, and he got caught. Um, and there were apparently um, basically detention camps on the island um, where the, where the de detainee would go. Um, their wife or their children would be separated and, and brought to San Fuegos. Um, so this really depicts of how um, 
how what happened um, affected a lot of people and tore them apart. The point where I'm at right now with this painting is really trying to um, use the incising um, with the Dremel tool um, to really define uh, the fence between, between the individuals on the painting. Um, so what I'm thinking of is really just going through and defining uh, the parts of the fence in little detail. One of the pieces will be a triptych. And um, this one is basically I'm trying to depict um, product that comes out of Cuba. One is cigar, one is rum. And I'm trying to understand uh, or trying to figure out which is the next step. Uh, so right now I have an image of a beach, which is pretty indicative. Um, so I, ha I have to really figure out whether that's the piece I'm going to, you know, commit to in this panel. So um, as I do with many of my paintings, I start off with a small um, sketch, and I do these on aluminum sheeting that I use for roof metal, roof work. And um, I take these everywhere when I when I travel, everything because I can. They dry really quickly, even with oils. I can pack them, um, and it gives me a, a, a beautiful surface to work on. So here I'm working um, with the um, aluminum sheet and really just trying to understand um, whether I want to really commit to this as a painting. So I'm going to do this quickly just to get a sense. And you can see with the, with the, with the aluminum how it really just sits on the surface. And what's nice about it is you, you're able to blend colors and soften edges really easily. Um, and they, they really, um, it really allows you to really just play. Again, trying to be le more loose. What's nice is because the grain is running this way, um, if, I, if I pull the paint um, from top to bottom, it grabs a little bit more. And then I, then I go over it really lightly. And it allows, me to, it allows me to pull the paint through and have it create more texture. Really. So what I do is go back and start looking at and just start um, abstracting it a little bit. I'm using a little bit too much pressure right now, but what I'll do is to really create that softness that the aluminum allows you to capture because the paint just sits on top and doesn't soak into a canvas. Um, it allows you to really paint. It really allows you to play with, the again, the material itself. Um, and just getting really focused on what what oil paint can do um, instead of just trying to show a specific image. This is a little further than when we last uh, left off. Um, I brought it brought additional more, additional colors in and uh, tried to deepen it. Now um, this of course is a study and um, it basically helps me make the decision that I probably will not be using um, this image or this, um, this um, view as my third panel. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I think, explore next is uh, possibly look at a view of a plantation and see if that works better with the series. The reason why I think I'm going to move away from this uh, for the triptych is um, I feel it's a little too pretty, um, which is interesting. So this piece is called Blown Away, uh, and the title really came from what I felt at the end of my trip and the end of my journey of sorts um, in exploring um, the stories behind Cuba. And um, again, um, this this is really a spring point um, for me as I evolve um, further. Um, I think what my work is really going to focus on is I like the storytelling aspect, but also bringing in some of the movement and um, in, in portraiture um, that allows you to really capture a moment in time.